Let me take you through the average warp travel procedure. The captain calls down to prep the ship for warp expedition. At that time, 12,000 slaves who have never seen the outside of the work galley begin shoveling the dead bodies of the previous workers into massive furnaces, along with whatever hard fuel source they have in storage, like a brutal Mr. Fusion. A field of pure psychic fuck you is generated around the ship, and the blinded, mentally traumatized man inside a metal egg begins screaming unendingly as he charts a course through the warp which is basically a giant ocean of pure emotion in which unnamed ones lounge around and fuck with humanity by the luxury of simply existing. The ship then plows into the miasma of what you would call hell if you lacked imagination. Pray to the holy throne the astropath doesn't accidentally get you lost, become possessed by a demon, or just explode like a mushy human pinata from the mental stress of being around so much pure cannot be. If the void shields even flicker on the 8,000-year-old vessel, which no one actually understands completely how to work, demons made of rape and lemon juice will crawl into our reality and do things you literally cannot imagine to every soul aboard. I mean that. The very notion of understanding the completeness of a horror the human victims will be witness to would shatter your perception of reality and cause your head to explode. Mission Clock says they were only in the warp for five days. It was 17 months for everyone aboard. They also missed their destination by a couple of solar systems and eight-tenths of the crew is now dead. The captain turns to his bridge staff and pops the cork on a vintage stock of Yurik L and salutes another successful warp jump. Welcome to 40K.